someone you care for is affected by Tay-Sachs or Santoff disease, you may be wondering what this means. Keep watching the video to find out more. What are Tay-Sachs and Santoff disease? Tay-Sachs and Santoff disease are part of a group of diseases called GM2 gangliosidoses. They are rare inherited diseases that affect the brain. There are three main variants of the diseases which are classified by the age of onset. These are infantile, juvenile and late onset. A condition is considered rare if it affects less than 1 in 2,000 people. There are approximately 300 million people worldwide impacted by rare diseases. Everyone has an instruction manual needed for their body to work. These instructions are known as genes and are passed on from parents to child. Tay-Sachs and Santoff disease are caused when a child has been passed on two copies of a certain gene that has changes or mutations. They inherit one copy from each parent. Parents can be a carrier for these mutated genes without being affected by the disease. These genetic changes are not something that can be prevented. What happens inside the brain in Tay-Sachs and Santoff disease? In someone not affected by Tay-Sachs or Santoff, the cells of the brain work like a factory. The genes instruct how many workers there needs to be and what their jobs are. When the factory is working efficiently, it produces a molecule called GM2, which helps the brain work efficiently. Once GM2 has done its job, it's then sorted and removed by a group of factory workers called Hex A. However, in people with Tay-Sachs or Santoff disease, the mutated genes mean there aren't enough Hex A workers. This means GM2 can't be removed properly and it starts to build up until the factory, the brain, is unable to work as well as it should. This leads to problems with thinking and speaking. It also causes problems with movement of the body, such as standing, walking and eating. Common symptoms of Tay-Sachs and Santoff disease may include fits or seizures, muscle weakness and loss of muscle tone, particularly affecting the chest and stomach area, increased jumpiness to unexpected noises, reduced coordination, delay reaching development milestones such as sitting or walking, difficulty with speech, inability to eat unassisted, and difficulties with thinking and learning. Tay-Sachs and Santoff disease are progressive and multi-system conditions. This means that in time, more parts of the body and bodily functions will be affected and the person will need more assistance. Unfortunately, these conditions also lead to a limited life expectancy. Whilst there is currently no cure, treatment for Tay-Sachs and Santoff disease focuses on helping parents and their families to manage and ease the effects of the diseases. The healthcare team involved in supporting people with these conditions and their families may include specialist neurologists, physiotherapists and dietitians, amongst others. At first, a diagnosis may be overwhelming and can make those impacted and their families feel isolated. But although Tay-Sachs and Santoff disease are considered rare, there is a strong community providing support to families, such as the Katz Foundation. It may take time to adjust to living with Tay-Sachs and Santoff disease, but eventually these changes can become a new normal. Together, families and friends can support one another and provide those affected by GM2 gangliosidosis with the best possible life.